Hi, and welcome to Amp3 TV. Today we're gonna to have a look at iRivers B20. iRivers B20 is probably one of the most misunderstood players in the market today. When it came along, I think a lot of reviewers couldn't really work out why it attracted the premium pricing it did and what made it so special. Well, the B20 is actually a very complex device. Think of it as a DAB enhanced unit the features we'll discuss in a second, and it really starts to make a bit more sense. It does have DMB built into it, which is like portable TV, but it won't work in the UK. So it really is a very advanced little unit indeed, but unless you understand all the benefits of those features, it's quite hard to justify its initial high pricing. Now, as I said, the B20 is not a cheap player. But why is that the case? Because if you look at iRiver's other products, it's not really in keeping with the way they normally come to market. It's really because this player has some DAB technology that's not readily available in the market. It has DAB enhanced. Now, you could think of that as like a DAB 2.0. This one can actually display where the stations support it, pictures they choose to send you. In addition to that, you have an EPG, electronic program guide, built in as well. So it does become a very, very advanced, tiny little DAB radio. Now looking at the B20 strictly as an MP3 player, it actually has a lot of communality with the clicks. They use the same D-clicks interface. A lot of the way you navigate through the menus and stuff is pretty much identical. Really the B20, big difference being some of the more advanced premium features as we've discussed. But that's a great thing because the clicks 2 in itself is a fantastic device. Audio. The B20 punches out a very vibrant, colourful, well-defined sound. Really very similar to the Clicks too. Compatibility wise, it has the usual supports, MP3, WMA, ASF, and of course, the audiophile's favourite, Og Vorbis. Video on the B20 is very crisp, very clear, it's easy to use. Again, with a size of screen, you're probably not going to want to use it as an everyday video player, but it's a very handy feature to have and it works very, very well. Now let's have a look at the DAB. Now, the player can use your headphone cord as the DAB aerial when you've got it plugged in, but alternatively, if you want to use it on your desktop, for example, you can actually fold out the aerial the player has built in. It makes it quite handy if you do want to pop it on your desk while you're working. Now, DAB Enhanced allows you not only to view the images that are being sent as, long, as well as the audio transmission, but in addition to that, you have the features like EPG, which we touched upon before, which is the electronic program guide. The B20 also has a timing recording feature, which you can use with EPG or set up manually. It also has FM radio, just in case you're in a region that doesn't get DAB, so you've got it as a backup. The timer also supports the FM recording. The B20 also features voice recording, and you can also expand the player with a mini SD card. In addition to that, it's got a picture viewer on it, and you can actually play flash games on it if you want to download them from iRiver's site. Really, you'd have to say it's got a very, very comprehensive feature set. In conclusion, the B20 is not the expensive folly that's been suggested. Far from it. Yep, okay, there's no denying it's not going to give you a huge memory player. But really, if you want something that has the enhanced DAB functions of the B20, there's very little to rival it. And in that sense, it is quite a unique, feature-rich product. Again, the way these features all blend together and work on this unit really is first class. If you like these features, you really will get a lot out of the unit. Scores. Value, 7 out of 10. The B20 is no doubt a premium player and it's got the features that you'd hope to get from a premium player, and it's pretty unique. But value-wise, it can't score any better than that despite recent price cuts. Features, very hard to say, nine or 10 out of 10. It has features you're not gonna find on other players, and that really, again, as we got to saying, is part of the reason for the price. It's beautifully done, though. Everything's very well thought out and works very well. Design, eight out of 10. It's pretty much looks like the iRiver players we've seen before, but it's very well done. They keep the D-Clicks interface, which works beautifully. It's a crisp, 
clean, unfussy design. It's nice. Audio, 10 out of 10. It is really good. There really is not anything in the market that's gonna go out there and beat it. Video, seven out of 10. The reason it's scoring any higher really is because of the size of the screen and the player. But it does work very well and it's very easy to use. Overall then, the B20 scores a very impressive eight out of 10. I think this player is a bit of a misunderstood one. For the people that actually really appreciate what it can do, it's a fantastic product. And if you will use the enhanced DAB functions, you'll love that, you absolutely love it. It's very close to the Clicks 2, which is a player we highly, highly rate, which in itself is a great thing. Think of it as a Clicks 2 with more enhanced DAB features, and you're pretty much on the money. It's a great unit. If you are traveling at all, we'll get the use of the DMB functionality as well. It will suddenly transform into a pocket TV. Awesome product. If you want to know more about the B20, have a look on our website because there's a lot to be said for it. www.amp3.co.uk Thanks for watching the review today. Hope you've enjoyed it.